Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to select each one of these planks right here and I'm going to assign what's called an automatic UV projection. And as soon as I do that, notice that our UVs will appear in what we call the one-to-one -one UV coordinate. So let me select the first object. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to UVs, automatic. I'm going to go to the options and always do that every time you use a new tool and you don't know what settings you have saved or not saved, always reset your settings. And we're not going to worry about all of this right here. All I want you to look at is that under planes, I'm going to use six planes. And as soon as I apply them, they will make sense. So the object is selected. My polygon automatic mapping box is open. And I'm going to hit apply. As soon as I do that, let me pull out. Notice that there are six planes of projections working on this object right here. One on the top, one on the bottom, left, right, back, and front. Okay, So this object right here has six planes of projection. If I go to the UV editor, six different planes for that model. That model is a wood plank, as you can see right here. Let me hit F to focus on it. If I click on the background of the viewport, my projections will disappear. That's not a problem because we already have the UVs. And if I zoom in into my UVs right here, notice that our UVs have been assigned. The one thing that I want you to be aware of when it comes to the automatic projection in Maya is that it works very good for um, square objects, objects that have six sides, objects that have multiple sides, for example, a sphere, right? If I selected this sphere right here and let me isolate it, Notice that when I use the automatic projection, and I'm going to use now the shortcut on the polygonal shelf right here. Notice that we get the same six planes that we did for the wood plank. But when I go to my texture editor, notice that in order to avoid that distortion, Maya has broken that sphere into a lot of parts and this may not be what we want. So in the case of a sphere, we may want to use different types of projections. And we will explore those on different videos. So now let's learn how to move and sew the different planes that we've created so that we can assign this shader right here.